Hey there, how's it going? Fine, how are you? I'm doing pretty great, thanks for asking. And welcome to another episode of Mukbang Quality Time. Of course, it's your local neighborhood dad. Here with my white and red shirt having chunked monks. And welcome to another episode of... God's Food Friday. That's right. And before we get started, make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell for notifications. We'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Do it now, darn it! All right, this week, we are going to the border. That's right, El Taco Bello. What, Chunky? This is premium Tex-Mex, where you, is where the Texas and Mexico meet. Why are you ripping the bag? Because it was the only way I could free the- Dang, that's big. Double beef. Grilled cheese burrito from El Taco Bell. Oh wow, it's double wrapped. Look at this, they put it in deli paper. That's how crazy it was. Oh, oh this is a non-stick paper for the grilled cheese part. Look at that grilled cheesiness on top. So at the bottom, you just got regular uh, burrito okay. uh, tortilla. Okay. But on the top, you have nice cheese grilled on the top cap. perfectly. What's the cap part? <laughs> you don't even know what cap means. You just learned that word. You, don't know what cap you means. literally just don't started like using it like two months ago. No. That's not wow. a, that's not a short Wow, for time. such an old word, cap is like cap so is old. old. But you young, so you think that she just came up with this stuff. Cap. Now look at this technology of this is a cap. Look at this technology. So the cheese won't stick. If it was on this regular Taco Bell, I believe it would have stuck. Cap. Now, I got a story to tell about punk, uh, well, one of the punk Taco Bells in, uh, Carrollton, Carrollton. Ew, I don't want cheese on mine. It's a burrito. No, I don't like the smell of that cheese. So we went to, well, I went this morning to go pick one up because we was going to do a review in the morning. Get there. They put us to open at 8 because of breakfast. But not only, I ordered on the app, get to the place. They didn't, I get to the drive through the lights and the whole camera and the whole drive through thing is on. Nobody answers. I go to the front door. It's DoorDash, people waiting and stuff. Nobody came. You never go to that place. And I reported them on the app. I should go to Twitter. Now, the double beef steak cheesy grilled Dorito burrito, I know I got the name wrong, is stuffed with nice pieces of steak, sour cream, and rice and probably some other stuff, but I don't have my phone on it. And of course, nacho cheese. Just look at it. And look at that thick layer of the cheese on the top. Oh wow, this is stuffed to the brim. Did you just rip off the cheese, Chunky? Yeah. This is grade A premium Ew, goat cheese. that cheese smells so sus. No, it don't. This smells delicious. Look at it. Deliciousness. Oh my gosh, what type of child? Wait, let me smell it again. I done already dubbed the I don't want your boogers on the cheese. Oh my gosh, you got a booger on the cheese, Chunky. There's not a booger. I can't even eat that now. I don't even have boogers. Oh yeah, and we cut this with the Rusty Dusty Burrito Cutter, eight billion, but I missed the chance for a good um, intro. All right, it's time to taste it. Uno, dos, tres. Mmm. Wow. Bussin. You got some sour cream in the front of your mouth. Okay. Well, I'll just make sure I do extra zoom in. All right. This is so dope. As soon as you hit, you get the rice that hits your tongue first, because it's at the bottom. Then I get hit with the nacho cheese. The steak is nice and succulent for um, grade D. Semi beef. What do you think, Chunk Monks? It's busting. It's like a whole meal in a burrito. I got a whole meal in my hand. This is like a fiesta plate in my hand. I got the carne asada. It's carne, carne asada. 
You don't even know Spanish, Shaggy. You have to roll the R's. What does mi amores mean? What does donde mean? What does, um, what is... Donde esta? I mean, shut up. No. That would be quiet. I gotta be honest. Usually they will overstuff this stuff with rice or they'll like fold up the burrito. I will say once you get to the end, it is a lot of foldedness, but they didn't That's overdo the it. Part. Wow, just layers of burrito, uh, tortilla. Yeah. That's the best part. Yup. This video is not. This is not <laughs> 2017, Chunky. Will you stop embarrassing me? What do you mean? Yeah, I mean. Anyway. One in ten, what do you give this chunky? Thirty-seven. This is pretty good. Taco Bell been killing it. That breakfast burrito is super dope too. Yeah. When you find a new word. Bovid. Bovid. What does that mean? <laughs> this kid in my in my algebra two class, he like on the Google on the Google classroom stream, he put, "What did I miss? I have bovid." <laughs> so we <laughs> got on Friday. <laughs> ah, it's funny because he had bovid. <laughs> That's why you look like you have bovid. I was bovid. <laughs> well. Bovid. Is this a go back and get it? Yes. This is a double. Definitely uh, go back and get it. They need to keep this on the menu, but they always getting rid of stuff. Like the beloved Mexican pizza. Bobid. But I did go to the Frankfurt location, and they were fantastic. Thank yeah. you, Frankfurt, for being a great Taco Bell. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us in this 2017 edition of Mukbang Quality Time. We hope that you can get out with your family and eat this very good, delicious Taco Bell burrito that is very filling. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs>